As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We will uh, discuss and study Surah An-Nahl verses 12 through 14, inshallah, tonight. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. والصلاة والسلام على أنبياء الله جميعا وعلى سيدهم وخاتمهم حبيب إله العالمين أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد وعلى أهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين الذين أذهب الله عنهم الرجس وطهرهم تطهيرا أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وسخر لكم الليل والنهار والشمس والقمر والشمس والقمر والنجوم مسخرات بأمره إن في ذلك لآيات لقوم يعقلون وما ذرأ لكم في الأرض مختلفا ألوانه إن في ذلك لآية لقوم يذكرون وهو الذي سخر البحر لتأكلوا منه لحما طريا وَتَسْتَخْرِجُوا مِنْهُ حِلْيَةً تَلْبَسُونَهَا وَتَرَى الْفُلْكَ مَوَاخِرَ فِيهِ وَلِتَبْتَغُوا مِنْ فَضْلِهِ وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ وألقى في الأرض رواسي أن تميد بكم وأنهارا وسبلا لعلكم تهتدون وعلامات وبالنجم هم يهتدون أَفَمَنْ يَخْلُقُ كَمَنْ لَا يَخْلُقُ أَفَلَا تَذَكَّرُونَ وَإِنْ تَعُدُّوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ لَا تُحْصُوهَا إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَغَفُورٌ رَحِيمٌ صدق الله العلي العظيم وَسَخَّرَ لَكُمُ اللَّيْلَ وَالنَّهَارِ وَالشَّمْسَ وَالْقَمَرِ This term, سَخَّرَ, has been mentioned and repeated in the Qur'an several times in many chapters. سَخَّرَ, subjected, subordinated, made it for you, for your use. God says, I have subjected the whole universe, the heaven and the earth, and what is in between to serve you, to serve you, to help you reach your potential, to help you to fulfill your goals, to help you to be the best human being, to help you to reach your God, and establish a relationship with God, to help you to make, to make your life a life of purpose, a life of fulfillment, subjected. Sakhara. He made everything in this universe 
to serve you because you are the most important one in this universe. Nothing is more important than you. Nothing is more important than mankind. Al-Mu'min a'azzu ala Allahi min al kaaba A faithful, a believer, he is dearer to God than his house, the house of God in Mecca. More important than the house of God in Mecca. More, one individual, one individual of you is worth more than the house of God in Mecca. Provided that you walk on the right path, not on the wrong path. And you try to reach God and thank God and do not forget God. وَسَخَّرَ لَكُمْ وَسَخَّرَ لَكُمُ اللَّيْلَ وَالنَّهَارِ He subjected and made subservient the night and the day and the sun and the moon by his command بِأَمْرِهِ through his command they are وَالنُّجُومُ مُسَخْ and the stars are being made subserv- subservient through his command بِأَمْرِهِ by his command the day and the night the night provides an opportunity for us to rest and the day is an opportunity for us to to work in chapter amma yatasa'alun surah an this is the last chapter this is the last section of the quran the 30th juzu of the quran amma yatasa'aluna 'an an-naba'i al-'adhim alladhi hum fihi يختلفون كلا سيعلمون and then God says وجعل وجعلنا نومكم سباتا we made your sleep means for rest to rest you need to rest you need at least seven to eight hours a day to rest وجعلنا نومكم سباتا وجعلنا الليل لباسا we made the night as a clothing to cover you to cover you وجعلنا النهار and we made the day ma'asha, a source of livelihood. This is why staying up too late is not good, is not recommended. Religion says do not stay up too, too late. Go to bed. If you don't have work, unless you are working. Some people are working during the night. Some physicians are on call, some nurses, some guards, some cops, some whatever. They have to work, they have to serve, some drivers. But if not, then nothing is going to substitute for the night sleep, nothing. Even if you sleep 10 hours, 15 hours during the day, it would not substitute for the night sleep. It's a blessings from God to be able to sleep. Do you know that 83% of the American people, they use sleeping pills. Sleeping pills. Many of them cannot sleep the night. They can't. They wake up in the middle of the night. Something keeps them busy. Keeps their mind, you know, active. They think about their mortgage, about their son, their daughter, their house, their divorce, their marriage, their business, their loan. But God says you have to try to sleep. Because you need to work during the day, unless sometimes you, you need to speak to God. 15 minutes, 20 minutes, an hour, tahajjud. This is also healthy. This is healthy for your spirit, for your soul. وَجَعَلْنَا اللَّيْلَ لِبَاسَ وَجَعَلْنَا النَّهَارَ مَعَاشَ So this is these are the signs of God. وَسَخَّرَ لَكُمُ اللَّيْلَ وَالنَّهَارِ He made the night and the day subservient unto you. وَالشَّمْسَ وَالْقَمَرِ And the sun and the moon. وَالنُّجُومِ Even the stars. How the stars are serving us. How? In what way the stars are serving us? Now... Unfortunately, nowadays, we do not value the stars. In fact, we don't even see them. Do you see the stars? You don't see them. I remember when we were children, 
my father would take us all the way to Umrah. We would pass, this is 50 years ago. We will pass through the Saudi, the Arabian Peninsula Desert from Kuwait to Dammam to Riyadh to Mecca, then to Medina, Tabuk, Amman, Jordan, Damascus, Beirut, mashallah, four or five thousand kilometers. When we cut through the desert, the vast desert, empty desert, now it's filled with lights now after 50 years. I'm talking about 1972, 73, 74, 75. It was complete desert. You could see a different kingdom there, different world there. Amazing, amazing. We would sleep in the desert, no lights, complete darkness. If you take your hand out of your pocket, you can't see it. You can't see your own hand. When you raise your head and look above you, we could not sleep the night because of this kingdom above us. The wonders of God in this celestial system above you. The stars, not millions, billions, zillions of stars, zillions, countless stars. And we live in a small place, very small place called Earth, called Earth, very small. And then we fight over this and over that. We keep, you know, waste our time fighting. وَسَخَّرَ لَكُمُ اللَّيْلَ وَالنَّهَارُ وَالشَّمْسَ وَالْقَمَرُ وَالنُّجُومُ These stars today, we don't see them. We don't see them. We don't get to see the stars. But in the past, when they traveled in land, on land and in the sea, these were means of navigation for them. They cannot reach their destination without looking at the stars above them. Means for navigation and guidance on land and sea. And these musakharatum bi amrih through his command, they are, they work through his command. See, friends, in this universe, in this life, we have two types of guidance, divine guidance, two types. One of them is al hidayah at taqwiniyya the other is al hidayah to tashri'i. Hidayatu Taqwiniya is the prescriptive, prescriptive commands and guidance. Taqween. This is for everything in this universe except the humans. This is for the inanimate objects in this universe. Hidayat Taqwiniya is for the inanimate objectives for animals, for the plants, for the planets, for everything. Hidayat taqwiniya. God says in the Quran, الَّذِي أَعْطَى كُلَّ شَيْءٍ خَلْقَهُ ثُمَّ هَدَى God is the one that shapes in everything into creation. He is the shaper. He molds, he shapes everything into creation. الَّذِي أَعْطَى كُلَّ شَيْءٍ خَلْقَهُ He creates then he guides. Kulla shay. God guides everything, including insects, including the stars, the moon, everything in this universe is being guided by God. Otherwise, they're going to collapse. Otherwise, they're going to, to crash with each other. But they don't. They don't. You are safe. Don't worry. God's work is meticulous. God has good license for work. Good license, don't worry about it. He doesn't do mediocre work. Some people when they work in this life, they don't do a good job. They don't deliver good. But God delivers very well. God is the one who gives everything its shape, its creation. Then immediately he guides them. He programs them. The programming is from God. So this is al-hidayah at taqwiniyya For us, what type of hidayah we have guidance? What type of guidance? Al-hidayah tul tashri'iyya Because we have a brain. We have reason and we have what? We have free will. Others do not have. The, the sun does not have a free will. doesn't have a free will. The moon does not have a free will. 
أن تدرك القمر ولا الليل سابق النهار وكل في فلك يسبحون Neither the sun can overtake the moon nor the moon can overrun the sun each one of them is swimming in its own orbit وكل في فلك يسبح they have no free will what time was the sun, sun sunrise today five what no more than 540 555 556 the sun cannot say tomorrow i want to be 5 59 no or no tomorrow i'm lazy it will be you not know, 610 i'll rise at 610 615 give me 10 more minutes i need to sleep like our kids when you go to wake them up give me five more minutes and this five more minutes goes for five hours the sun does not do that today they can tell you 200 years from now what is the sunrise here in Orange County in the city of Irvine here exactly? 200 years from now. The sunset and the sunrise. 200 years from now. وَكُلٌّ فِي فَلَكٍ يَسْبَحُونَ There is no tardiness. They don't arrive late. Nobody except us. We arrive late. We, we the humans, the great people, we arrive late. Other objects do not arrive late. A tree would not give its fruit two months later or two months earlier on time. On time. So this is, we have hidayah tashri'iyah because we have a free will. Free will and a free choice. But then we are held what? Accountable. Accountable for this freedom that we enjoy. We are accountable. Hidayah tashri'iyah, God says, فَمَنْ شَاءَ فَلْيُؤْمِنْ وَمَنْ شَاءَ فَلْيَكْفُرْ In this life, you may believe and you may disbelieve. It's up to you. But then on the day of judgment, God, God is going to hold us accountable. Accountable. Because we have a free will. وَالنُّجُومُ مُسَخَّرَاتٌ بِأَمْرِهِ إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَاتٍ لِآيَاتٍ Verily, in that are signs for those who Ya'qilun understand. Those who reuse their brain, they think about this majesty of God, the creation of God. Ayah after that, ayah 13, وَمَا ذَرَأَ لَكُمْ فِي الْأَرْضِ مُخْتَلِفًا أَلْوَانُهُ This is, this is awesome. And whatsoever he ذَرَأَ ذَرَأَ means created. ذَرَأَ means created. Khalaqa means khalaqa. Dara'a means created. And whatsoever God created for you on the earth of diverse types and colors. Mukhtalifan alwanuh. Mukhtalifan alwanuh. Everything in this God created is diverse in types and colors. Look at us humans. How many types of a human we have? How many colors? How many races? I don't know. 200 races? More. In some countries in, in Brazil, they have, they have 2,000 types of, of tribes. Tribes. 2,000 different tribes in one country. How many languages we have? How many colors we have? And then you speak about animals. How many animals we have? How many species of animals we have? Seven million. Seven million different species of animals. One million of them are insects only. Insects. One million species of insects. Mukhtalifan. God says they are diverse. Mukhtalifan alwanu. How many <clears throat> butterflies we have? How many types? How many species worldwide? How many? Chandin Hazar, how many? Tell me. 15,000. Can you imagine? We see one or two or, or three of them. 15,000. 15,000 species worldwide. God says, I created them. This is my creation. So you understand that God is different than us. His work is different. His work is unique. Nobody can compete with God. No one can compete with God. How many types of 
bees we have that create honey. You know how many types of honey we have? I know your wife is one honey, alhamdulillah. One type is your wife. But what else beside your wife? How many types we, <laughs> we have? Huh? 300 types. 300 different types of honey we have. Each region, each mountain, each flower, each country has its own. And it is distinct in color, in smell, in taste. It's really, it's different. Here in, in Southern California, the type we have is what? What they call it. It's native here, of this, our region here in Southern California. They call it orange blossom. The honey, which is produced here in this region, and in every country, in every, in fact, city, they have their own type of honey, different types. Some of them are available, you know, you can buy them for $5. Some of them $500, very expensive. So God says different types, مختلفاً ألوانه, different colors, different types. How many types of plants we have? Trees and plants. I mean, you can't imagine. Believe me, these, these numbers, 320,000 types. 320,000 types of plants we have on earth. مُخْتَلِفًا أَلْوَانُهُ إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ In that are signs لَآيَةً لِقَوْمٍ يَذَّكَّرُونَ We created them, so we... Think about Yadhakkarun, who reflect on God's majesty, on God's ability, on God's power, on God's majesty. And then after that, God speaks about seafood. Seafood is important. Some kids, they don't like seafood, which is not good. We have to encourage them. Cut short on, cut back on red meat. Cut back on red meat. Red meat is good. Religion says in the hadith that you should not abandon red meat for more than 40 days. At least, even if you are vegetarian, try to eat red meat once in 40 days. Do not completely abandon it, nor consume it every single day in every meal. It's not good. Imam Ali says, لا تجعلوا بطونكم مقابرة للحيوانات. Do not make your bellies cemeteries for what? For dead animals. Don't. Be moderate. And instead, instead, eat seafood. I know sometimes it's expensive, but it is worth it. Because God says, وَهُوَ الَّذِي سَخَّرَ الْبَحْرَ لِتَأْكُلُوا It is your Lord who subjected the sea for you, the sea for you, number one. Listen to the benefits of the sea and the ocean. لِتَأْكُلُوا مِنْهُ لَحْمًا So that you may eat fresh meat therefrom. لَحْمًا Fresh. God says a fresh. So do not freeze the fish. If you can, if you can, I wish I can. I wish, I wish I have the time and the means to go fishing myself. One time I did, once in my lifetime. 25 years ago, I was in Alaska with a friend. We were trying, we saw a river, not very deep, shallow, but it was filled with salmon, subhanAllah, filled with salmon. Something amazing, amazing, amazing. And we tried to catch some of them. We failed. We didn't know. We didn't know. A boy, believe me, he was only 12 years old. I asked him, how old are you? He said 12. He came and he helped us. Within five minutes, he was able to catch four. Four. And we were four. So he gave us. Everyone, take your own. So we went to a nearby restaurant. And the lady came. She saw us carrying fish. She said, what's the... We said, we give you money just to grill these fish for us. She said, you bet, you bet. She took them and she grilled them. She took half for herself and she gave us the other. It was so delicious. 
when you catch it immediately and you grill it and you cook it, it's really, really delicious. I still, still, still I, 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 I can feel the taste of this very delicious salmon, fresh salmon. So God says, Lahman Tariya. If you can fish yourself or if you can buy it fresh, if you can buy it, it has much more uh, nutritious value in it. And salmon in particular, every type of fish is good, especially salmon, cod, trout. What else? Yesterday we had what? We had huh? tuna, tuna, we had tuna. Today we had salmon. Yeah. Uh, snappers, all of them, all of them are good and delicious. But unfortunately, they are becoming very expensive and affordable for so many people, especially during the pandemic. But salmon in particular has lots of benefits, lots of health benefits. It has vitamin 12, it has omega-3, which is needed for our blood, for our DNA. It's very healthy. So try to diversify your food. People say, nutritionists say, if you can have it twice a week, twice a week if you can have seafood. لتأكلوا منه لحما طريا وتستخرجوا منه The second benefit of the sea, of the ocean is what? God says ornaments. Ornaments. These timeless and elegant jewelry. Pearls and corals, both. In Surah Al-Rahman, Allah says, يَخْرُجُ مِنْهُمَ اللُّؤْلُؤُ We extract from the sea, لُؤْلُؤْ, pearls and والمرجان, corals. This is the external meaning. The internal meaning of it, in Surah Al-Rahman, مَرَجَ الْبَحْرَيْنِ يَلْتَقِيَانِ Two seas, they meet each other. One of them is Ali ibn Abi Talib. The second is Fatima al-Zahra. يَخْرُجُ مِنْهُمَا It extracted from them اللُؤْلُؤْ وَالْمَرْجَان اللُؤْلُؤْ is Imam Hussain, Imam Hassan alayhi salam. Marjan is Imam Hussain alayhi salam. This is the tafsir of Ahlul Bayt alayhi salam. This is the metaphor. Quran has two meanings. One is the external meaning. External meaning. Two seas are these seas that we see here. The water. Lo'lo is pearl, marjan is coral. But then it, it has a deeper meaning. Quran has many examples. Meaningful examples. Maraj al Bahraini al Taqiyan. Baynahuma, there is a partition between them. La yabghiyan, they do not transgress against each other. I saw this, the physical sea, I saw it in South Africa some 15 years ago. We were standing on a mountain looking at the, at the ocean. The Indian Ocean merges with the Pacific Ocean. W sorry, with the Atlantic Ocean. Atlantic Ocean and the Indian Ocean. But you can see a line in the middle. Subhanallah. Two different colors. You can see it very visible. Two different colors. A line in the middle. One color here. This is the, this is the Atlantic. And on, on, on your left is the Indian Ocean. So this is the physical meaning. But then the metaphor, la yabriyan, Imam Ali and Imam Fatima alayhi salam, they do not transgress against each other. They work with each other. Each one knows his rights and responsibilities. That is the real marriage, the good marriage, when the husband respects the wife and the wife respects her husband. They work together. They respect each other. They help each other. They build strong, strong family. They raise good children. They don't fight. A good family, the family that does not fight. You don't hear shouting and yelling and cursing and you don't. That's a good family, peaceful family. So God says, We created, we subjected the sea for you. So beside the seafood, the food, fresh food, تَسْتَخْرِجُوا مِنْهُ حِلْيَةً You extract from the sea ornaments that you wear. تَلْبَسُونَهَا How much is the pearl, the piece of pearl? How much is it? Huh? Depends on where you buy it. 
and sometimes it's it's natural it's natural and sometimes it is cultural they call it culture cultured cultured pearl artificial the natural is much more expensive one piece could go for a thousand dollars sometimes more sometimes sometimes it reaches millions of dollars millions of dollars وَتَسْتَخْرِجُوا مِنْهُ حِلْيَةً تَلْبَسُونَهَا وَتَرَى الْفُلْكَ مَوَاخِرَ فِيهِ And you see the ships plowing through the seas and the oceans. The ocean shipping. God speaks about transportation, ocean shipping. How many ships we have today worldwide navigating through the seas, international waters, how many ships we have? Hmm? 55,000 ships. Among them, among these 55,000, 15,000 cargo ships. But today, today, they are not available. Do you know? A friend of us was saying he builds homes here. He's a, he's a land developer. He says we used to order Construction material, they would arrive within a week. Within a week, one week. Lumber and other things. Now it takes three to four months. Why? Because there are no cargo ships. Shortages of cargo ships. This is why things are becoming more expensive nowadays. لِتَبْتَغُوا وَتَرَى الْفُلْكَ مَوَاخِرَ فِيهِ وَلِتَبْتَغُوا مِنْ فَضْلِهِ And to seek... God's bounties. You may give thanks. We don't give thanks. We eat. We use the jewelry. We enjoy. But we don't give thanks. We don't give thanks. We don't even pay attention to these values. We don't pay attention. We don't pay attention. God says, so you may give thanks. And when you give thanks, God is going to increase his bounties and his blessings on you, inshallah, the rest of the ayat for next Thursdays, inshallah ta'ala. Allahumma khfar lil mu'minina wal mu'minat wal muslimina wal muslimat al ahya'i minhum wal amwat tabi'i allahumma baynana wa baynahum bil khayrat innaka mujibu al-da'awat innaka ghafiru al-khati'at. Let's recite amman yujibu al-muftar for had Samir Amiri and Afsana Fadili and those who are under the weather, inshallah, Allah will bestow health on them. Each and every one of them, a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim, bismillah ar-rahman ar-rahim. Amman yujibu al-muhtarra idha da'ahu wa yakshifu al-suh. Amman yujibu al-muhtarra idha da'ahu wa yakshifu al-suh. Amman yujibu al-muhtarra idha da'ahu wa yakshifu al-suh. Ya Allah. من على مرضانا بالشفاء والعافية ألبسهم ثوب الصحة والعافية اللهم كن لوليك الحجة ابن الحسن صلواتك عليه وعلى آبائه في هذه الساعة وفي كل ساعة وليا وحافظا وقائدا وناصرا ودليلا وعينا حتى تسكنه أرضك طوعا وتمتعه فيها طويلا واجعلنا اللهم من أنصاره وأعوانه وإلى أرواح المؤمنين والمؤمنات والشهداء ثواب الفاتحة مع الصلاة على محمد